In the second half of my book, I have discussed the evidences of reverse migration of the Indian origin fraternities from Egypt by different routes and in different periods. It is apparent that the land route migration took place along the Uttarapod and the Indus Valley Civilization. In fact, the mature period of the Indus Valley Civilization that is from 2600 BC to 1900 BC perfectly coincides with the period of the land route reverse migration from Egypt. As such, IVC or Indus Valley Civilization was located on the land route from India to Egypt. We find the emergence of the reverse migration animal symbols like the horse, boar, lion and peacock along the entire stretch of the Uttarapad. These animal symbols are found all over the subcontinent but their emergence in the Indian Himalayas, Nepal, Bhutan, Tibetan Plateau and Northeast India are striking as these species are mostly not found there. These regions are connected with Egypt and Europe through the Uttarapath. A number of ground evidences identify the migration paths along which both the onward and reverse migration had taken place. I have seen two friends sharing the ownership of a shop in Pokhara, Nepal. One gentleman was short with brachycephalic features which is possibly a typical feature of the indigenous Indians. In this case, the face is roundish with breadth more than 80% of the vertical height of the face. While his friend was not only tall but also had an oligocephalic face with width of the face less than 75% of the height. This is a typical feature of some parts of Europe. I have also seen Kali in the Kamala Shagar temple of Tripura draped in a white sari suggesting her reverse migration nature. A dramatic change occurred in the reverse migration path when a direct sea route between the Red Sea ports and the west coast of India was established around 1500 BC. This new land route was possibly referred to as Dokkinapath which joined Uttarapath near Mount Kailash. The Shodosho Mahajanapadas emerged along these two highways which were exclusively recorded in the Jain and Buddhist texts written in Pali. This suggested that these were settlements of the Pali speakers. Their absence in Sanskrit records exposes a rivalry between the Pali and Sanskrit speakers. In all probability, reverse migration fraternities from Europe were Sanskrit speakers and the reverse migration fraternities from Egypt were Pali and Prakrita speakers. At this juncture, as the reverse migration fraternities from Egypt came by ship directly to the west coast of India, nobody travelled along the old land route via the Indus Valley Civilization, resulting in its silent collapse. As such, we could not find any cause for the collapse of the Indus Valley Civilization. As 16 Mahajanapadas emerged in northern India, it gave an impression that Indus Valley Civilization population had shifted to the Gangetic Plains. Over a period, the sea route from Red Sea got extended to the Bay of Bengal as the reverse migration fraternities from Egypt were keen to reach the matriarchal territories of Ganga Ridhi. The Prakrita speaking fraternities returned back to Bengal at this stage. The Egyptian deities Hathor and Isis created on the front facade of the Cairo Museum are associated with lotuses much like Lakshmi and Saraswati of the Indian pantheon. These images have striking similarities with the Sri or Lakshmi images of Chandraketugar, an archaeological site near Kolkata. Similarly, several terracotta artifacts of Chandraketugar have a pair of wings, a characteristic feature of Isis, the Egyptian manifestation of Sri. Ptolemy's map drawn at the beginning of the Christian era clearly shows five openings of river Ganga. In fact, we find a detailed description of the military powers of the king of Gangaridi in the notes of Greek and Roman scholars. It is possible that because the Egyptian people had spread from east coast of India, they had a compulsion to return to Gangaridi and Kiratdes marked as Kirades in the map. I wonder how a major event like the reverse migration of the Indian origin fraternities remained completely unnoticed and therefore undiscussed in academic forums. The concept of Indo-Aryan migration is often discussed though it was considered as a primary migration from Europe to India and never as a reverse migration. On the other hand, any concept of reverse migration from Egypt is not known. At least, I have never heard any serious discussion about this subject.